this little short video is in reference to when you start looking for help and hiring help, you really have to train them. And it's probably not a bad idea to drug test them too. Because a lot of people's minds ain't wrapped too tight. And it, it, can, it can set you up for disaster really, really fast. Because you don't need someone coming up and messing up what you built. You could do that all yourself. So you really, really need to think this through. Because not everybody can handle it. You know, uh, even when, see, I hired a new guy and he worked with me two days. Already he's off to a, a bad start, man. He was late. Then uh, he kept taking cigarette breaks, you know, and then he, he kept uh, wanting to eat. He talking about he going to pass out his sugar low and this and that. You know, he's a grown man. He knows what he needs to do to make it through a work day. Then he said he hasn't worked in a while. And I said, well, maybe I expected too much from you because he called me looking for work. He's been sitting home for the last three days now. And I told him I'll be in touch. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've dealt this with, with too many people hiring and, and it, it never works out in the end. Uh, they don't last very long. And it's not me. It's them. It's their work ethic. Or maybe I'm expecting too much from them, like I said. So he says, listen, I'm sorry about the morning uh, not being on time. I said, it's not just that. You know, and I gave him a set of rules and I said, we're going to try this again. We're going to try it on Monday, you know, and he wants to have a set schedule. He wants to know when he's leaving for work. On top of that, I got to pick him up. You know, what boss is going to pick you up and pay you at the end of the day? Not many. So you think you'd be available and be on your best P's and Q's. But the, the, the concept of some people and where they're head at is, is, is outrageous. But, you know, I told him we're going to try this again. And he wants to be able to have a set schedule. Like if it's 8 o'clock, we're starting. I said, that's impossible because I have time jobs and I have to get up strange hours. And that's just the way the business is. And if you guys are afraid to go into commercial and deal with the commercial side of things, you're going to find out real fast that you have to be in demand with your customer's needs. And that's getting there at a certain time. And you can't be late because you could it could cost you your job. You're going to have to get used to getting up 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. I know some people say, oh, that man, that's for the birds, getting up that early. But trust me. It ain't never too early to get up and start making money. How about that? So, uh, getting on the commercial side, you're going to have your pros and cons. Well, you're going to have pros and cons of residential, too. Because residential is not all year round. Commercial is. Residential is where the bucks is. Commercial is consistent and big bucks money depending on the commercial account you get how you pick and choose your commercial accounts that's what you gotta look for see where you lack for price wise per residential home you pick up for a volume dealing with commercial but see that's job security especially if they're they're under contract so what are the cons of commercial well hey you gotta get up we hours in the morning. If you're doing the commercial side of things with diners, even storefronts, the commercial side of storefronts, you're going to have to get up strange hours. You have to be available at strange times. It might clash with your other jobs. To juggle that, most people aren't ready to juggle that. You know, for the most part, homeowners, if they're going to have their house done, they're there the whole day available for you. You just plan your houses accordingly. So the earliest they might want to get up is 7 or 8 o'clock. All right? And you, that gives you to about 5 or 6 o'clock at night uh, if you choose to work that late. But with commercial, there is no time. 
You can work in the middle of the night if you want. You can't work in the middle of the night on, on someone's house. But being tired and doing commercial, it's hard work. It's no joke. I ain't going to even lie to you. Real talk. you got to really, really be in a certain mindset to deal with those strange hours. Because guess what? When you start getting out there in the field, you're working on ladders and stuff, it can have catastrophic consequences. What I mean by that is, you're half tired because you got up 3 o'clock in the morning, do this diner. You know you got a crap load of work the rest of the day, but you're going to try and hoof it anyway. Hey, that rhymed. So, you're up on a ladder. Let's say you get to a ride. Well, hopefully, you guys aren't using ladders, period, on any commercial accounts. You either use your water fed pole, or you learn how to use the pole. Now, Holmes, sometimes, mostly all the time, you guys got to get up on ladders. Because you got to get up on top of roofs. You got to take off screens and whatnot. And... You can't avoid it sometimes. Well, that's when you can start picking and choosing your residential customers that you won't need a ladder for. That's how you solve that problem. I don't climb ladders. There's no need to. I'm very skilled with a pole. So you guys got to learn how to use a pole. So back to what I was saying, with being up at those strange hours doing commercial, now let's say you're up on a ladder doing residential. You're half tired. You're dropping tools. You know, you miss a rung. Now now you're falling down. It can have catastrophic consequences. You see, you can fall asleep behind a wheel. Anything can happen when you're dealing with commercial. You can literally get burnt out. And that's the side that people won't show you. Yeah, you, you think the money is good and all that, but, but trust me, it comes with a price. Not only do you beat your body up, you, you know, if you're using a pole, your shoulders might hurt, your neck might hurt because you're looking up all the time. You, you, you know, you got to take these things into consideration. So if your body isn't built for it, you better condition it. You better get it built. Go to the gym. I don't care. Start lifting some uh, some weights. Do shoulder exercises. Do neck exercises. You know, do wrist exercises because you will get rigor mortis of the wrists eventually from you know, dipping your hands in water for many years. You know, if you don't learn how to change your technique, you're going to head yourself down a road of troubles. And trust me, it ain't fun getting carpal tunnel and arthritis and, and rigor mortis or whatever you want to call it. I'm telling you, man, shoot, you, man, it'll look like who did it and ran on your body. You know, you, you, all, you all broken up, you know, genius. Hanging from the building in the, in the high-rise chair. That that tears your body up. You're putting your body in positions that you normally wouldn't do on a day-to-day -day basis. So you're working muscles, different types of muscles. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things to consider when doing this trade. Now, if you just want to stick to it and keep it simple and just do storefronts, that's fine. You know, those are things that's not hard to do. You're, you're keeping your foot on the ground. You're staying well-grounded. You know, you, whatever windows that you can't reach, you got your little pole, and then that's that. But that's enough chat, chit chat. I'm about to head home and uh, watch some shows and some movies and play on YouTube for a little bit. And I'll see you on the next one. Back a fracker.